Wakefulness, attention, reward, stress, locomotion. Different behavioral states that exert powerful control over how the brain processes information. Such a regulation of the brain function is mediated by neuromodulators such as dopamine and norepinephrine. Defections in the neuromodulatory pathways are associated with a number of neurological disorders and neurodegenerative diseases, such as Parkinson's disease, schizophrenia, and post-traumatic stress disorder. Neuromodulation acts through intracellular signaling pathways to control neuronal communication efficacy and plasticity. For example, binding of norepinephrine to beta adrenergic receptors triggers a signaling pathway that activates cyclic AMP-dependent kinase, also called PKA. PKA, in turn, can phosphorylate various substrates to control synaptic transmission, neuronal excitability, and plasticity. Because neuromodulation events affect neuronal electricity indirectly, they are difficult to be measured by current electrical recording or calcium imaging. To better understand neuromodulation, it is essential to establish methods that allow monitoring neuromodulatory signal events with single cell resolution in vivo during animal behavior. In the current study, we focus on establishing imaging capacity to visualize intracellular PK activity in response to neuromodulation in behaving mice. The PK pathway mediates the action of uh, several central neuromodulators, including dopamine, norepinephrine, acetylcholine, and serotonin. And in order to visualize the PK activity, uh, one would need a sensor and also the right imaging modality. Our approach is based on a sensor called A kinase activity reporter, abbreviated as ACAR. ACAR is a substrate of PKA. When ACAR is phosphorylated by PKA, its conformation will change from an open state to a closed state, pulling two fluorophores at two ends of the sensor close to one another. This changes the type of interaction between the two fluorophores into a fluorescence resonance energy transfer, or FRET, which can be measured using microscopy. The type of microscopy that we use to image ACAR is two-photon fluorescence lifetime imaging microscopy, also called 2P-FLIM. 2P-FLIM can be integrated into conventional two-photon microscopes by adding a defined number of hardware components. 2P-FLIM has advantages in imaging FRET-based sensors in vivo, as it provides highly sensitive yet stable measurements, independent of the depth of neurons in the brain. We established a characterization pipeline in which we examined the sensor's response to norepinephrine in neurons. Based on this characterization, we improved the current best ACAR sensor by about threefold. We call this new sensor T ACAR Alpha. Importantly, T ACAR Alpha detects endogenous neuromodulators with a sensitivity and a kinetics, well aligned with neuronal physiological response to norepinephrine. We also demonstrate that our sensor excels in a variety of conditions and neural cell types. In addition, t alpha detects different neuromodulators that couple to the PKA pathway. For example, in the striatum, where dopamine is the primary neuromodulator. t alpha readily detects optogenetically activated release of endogenous dopamine. An antagonist against dopamine 1 receptors completely abolishes the PKA activity upon dopamine release. This illustrates the ability to combine pharmacology with our new sensor to investigate the regulation of PKA activity at a single cell level. By combining our improved sensor with in vivo two photo fluorescence lifetime imaging microscope, we can visualize neurotransmitter PKA activity in high fixed behaving mice. We found that PKA activity is dynamically regulated during behavioral states. For example, when the animal is awake, there is a tonic level of PKA activity in most cortical neurons that are mediated by norepinephrine. When the animal runs, PKA activities increase in a fraction of neurons in the motor and visual cortices, but less so in the barrel cortex. Overall, we developed and demonstrated an approach to image neuronal modulatory PKA activity in behaving mice. We hope that this approach opens the door for future investigation of neuromodulation underlying brain function 
animal behavior and disease in a way analogous to calcium imaging is being used to study neuronal electric activity in vivo. This study is the result of an extensive collaboration between the Mao and Zong labs of the Balam Institute at Oregon Health and Science University, and with great help from the Zemmelman lab of the University of Texas. The study was funded by the Brain Initiative via the National Institute of Health and the National Institute of Neurological Disorders and Stroke.